those who don't know me, my name is Hasim Fahmi. I'm an Egyptian actor. I was born in Cairo and I lived all my life in Egypt. I had my studies at the Academy of Arts uh, in Egypt and then I moved to the States. I went to Hollywood. I uh, was a student at UCLA. This is where I received my uh, Master of Fine Arts from there. Later on, I worked in, um, in Hollywood in a small outfit. We were making TV commercials, uh, short documentaries. And then I came back to Cairo to direct my first movie. Uh, unfortunately, I was taken into acting. <laughs> and this was like 40 years ago. And I moved into television later on, uh, making TV series. Uh, some of them were very successful as well. So I would say uh, very humbly that uh, I had quite a beautiful career. On the side, uh, I became an ambassador of goodwill for the UNDP, the United Nations, for about 10 years. Uh, currently, I am a global ambassador for the Special Olympics. I've been there uh, for about 11 years as well. Uh, global ambassador. Um, before that, I was a regional ambassador for the MENA, which is the Middle East and North Africa. Uh, I was the president of the Cairo International Film Festival for about four years. So I would say that I was uh, very lucky and I was very happy for a, a fantastic career that I conducted. My identity is Egypt Egyptian, definitely. My father and mother are Egyptians, their parents are Egyptians, uh, their grandparents are Egyptians. All my family is Egyptian, we were all brought up here. And uh, the amazing thing is that uh, both sides of my family worked in politics. Traveling to me has been uh, a real inspiration because again, uh, I used to travel when I was young with my parents. My father, as I said, studied in Paris, so he took us to Paris when we were young, at the age of eight and ten, walk around the streets. He never, he never put us in a cab or a metro or whatever, any of the, these things. It was walking in the streets to learn about the city, and this is how I learned about Paris. I know Paris piece by piece due to my father's being there, of course, and then taking us around. And then uh, we, we traveled to Italy. We, I went to Florence at a young age where I saw all these uh, arts and this artistic life that the Italians used to live in, as well as the beauty of Paris is, is uh, unbeatable. It uh, un, uh, cannot be compared with anything else in, uh, that I've seen in my life. So at that time, uh, I developed an idea that there is nothing called stereotype. The humanity, humanity is one thing. We are all humans, we are all human beings, we all, we all look alike, we all uh, have the same sentiments, we have the same affection, we have uh, love and hate in our, in our souls, we have uh, uh, definitely, definitely uh, many things in common. All through my career, of course, with the movies and the parts that I played, we tackled a lot of the problems, social problems. And definitely there are a lot of social problems and we need to tackle them and we need to handle them. The, the thing that I found very intriguing in my way of, uh, of developing a certain uh, opinion, if I may say that, uh, and the thing that interested me the most, interested me the most was the uh, uh, disables. The disabled people, I believe that they have a certain uh, capability and I believe that they have a certain, uh, uh, let's say, uh, a certain way of looking at life. They are not really disabled. I find a lot of healthy people that they look healthy, but they are more disabled than people that are really mentally disabled or uh, physically disabled. So this is a subject that I've, I've always uh, tackled and I always wanted to tackle. Uh, mentally disturbed people, um, I played certain parts uh, in that reference. And this is something that uh, really interests me. And that's why I guess that's why I have been a global ambassador for the Special Olympics for so many years, like 11 years, I think. It's something that has always been uh, interesting to me. In the movies I play, I always uh, look for an, an important theme. To me, is very important. It's a theme that has to do with the society. It has to do with our well-being. It has to do with humanity. It has to do with the human being, with the Egyptian person in particular and uh, mankind uh, in general. To me, uh, the Mediterranean uh, is part of my, uh, part of my feelings, my emotions, it's part of my culture. The Mediterranean is a basin, and this basin has so many nations around it. And you would find that the same characteristics 
of every nation that is on the Mediterranean basin is very similar. We're very close to each other. And I remember uh, in history, you go back to history, you find Alexandria. Alexandria was the center of culture to the whole region, to the whole area. The Bibliotheca Alexandria at the time, where people came from everywhere. Uh, philosophers came and philosophy came out of it. And uh, uh, it was, it was a, an inspiration to the whole region, an inspiration to the whole basin of the Mediterranean. What we can do more is uh, actually uh, to, to expose the new inventions in this industry because again, motion picture is an industry. So there are new ideas, there are new, uh, maybe equipments, new machinery that we can use that have been uh, developed in different countries uh, in the Mediterranean uh, basin and we can expose these uh, experiments, we can expose uh, these uh, uh, exercises uh, between us uh, into uh, workshops. We can have this, we can have it, we can uh, be uh, even uh, introduced to new inventions, if there are any inventions coming up from different countries. Mediterranean comes from the word mid yeah, It's the middle of the world. Mediterranean basin is the middle of the world. We have to realize that. To us, it is the middle of the world. If I would uh, choose one word to describe uh, the Mediterranean basin, I would say serenity. And the reason why I say that is that I feel that people living on the Mediterranean are very serene. They have a certain way of life, a certain easy way of life, looking at life in a pleasure way, in a pleasurable mood. And that's why I said serenity. Serenity is something that we all drive to reach. Uh,